Hi there, I'm Gemma Leggett, real estate agent with Remax. Helping people buying and selling real estate is what I love the most. And today I would like to show you how we got a hundred thousand dollar over asking for this property in less than seven days on the market. Knowing that most home buyers want to move in ready condition, making your home looks its very best is what will get you the most money in the least amount of time. So if you're ready to sell your property, let's see what can help. There are four things to remember. Number one, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Number two, stage home on average sell in half the time than non-staged. Number three, most buyer makes a decision within the first 15 seconds of entering the home. And number four, less is more. So let's see now how we did it. You're going to see some before and after pictures. And first, you need to boost your curl appeal. The exterior is often a potential buyer first impression. If it is well kept outside, many buyers also assume it will be well kept inside. So clean your exterior, mow the lawn, put some nice furniture outside, and if you have to, paint the garage doors. Professional photography are essential when selling your home. Make sure that they are a true reflection of the size and colors. Many pictures look fake, and although this will bring people into your home, they will feel disappointed. Your entire house should be clean and declutter. You gotta pack anyhow. Why not packing before showing starts? As you can see here, paint and furnitures have been changed. Choose soothing colors smaller and brighter furniture. Remove rugs if you have a nice hardwood floor to show off. Remove personal pictures and remember, less is always more. You don't need a lot of furniture. This will also make your room feels bigger. I understand you don't want to get your TV out of the living space, but this helps a lot when staging for your home. The TV should not be the focal point of a room. Use a smaller rug keep toys away, add plants and nice pillows. The kitchen is where you're going to spend most of your time. Have your countertops clean and clear. We changed the appliances to get a stainless steel chic look. We also changed the island counter to make a contrast and create some interest. We changed the table to a glass table, which when you don't have a lot of space will make your room feels bigger. The pennant lights are elegant and family pictures were removed. In the dining room, I chose a shabby chic look, mixing older with new, harmonizing colors and keeping it consistent. In the master bedroom, we removed the darker furnitures and replaced it with white, with again, make the room look bigger. Accent walls are always a big hit. It creates interest and leave a big impression. TV in the bedroom must go. And one again, less is more. We also remove the carpet and use laminate floor. This one really looks like hardwood and makes the room look so elegant. In this bedroom, we also took the carpet off and changed furnitures, making it cozy little girl space. The playroom has became a guest room. We packed away the toys. They are now ready to move when the home sells. We made this bedroom a little boy space. With minimal furniture, the big boy bed is a wow factor. For the bathroom, we added curtains and shower curtain, decluttered and had some nice towel for a finish touched. We also changed the lighting. So, if you had to guess, how much do you think we spent staging this property? Remember, it sold for $100,000 over asking in less than one week. Post your guess price below. I absolutely enjoy this staging process and it is part of what I offer to my client if they are interested. For any advice, if you are thinking of selling or if you know someone who is, don't hesitate to call me. I am always here to help. My name is Gemma Leggett, 416-824-7475.